<laughs> Kelly McInerney joins me now. Uh, was I too strong there? Talk about a failed presidency. Bat me down if you want to. No, that was too mild in my view. Oh, um, really? I, I mean, last night I said President Biden has lit America on fire because that's how it feels. So strong words are merited. Uh, merited. Okay. Yes. Uh, I want to talk to you about uh, President Biden's uh, press secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre. What's your take on her job performance? Um, I think she's been thrown in the deep end. She has. Uh, my take is this. One, it's a hard job for any person. But there's this one moment I keep going back to in my mind. It's a moment that went viral. She was asked about baby formula. Of course, that's been the crisis of the spring. Should be on the top of anyone's list. You know, when I went to the podium, COVID was always at the top of my list. I knew I would be asked about that. I knew I would be expected to give an update. I, I had the number of PPE we had. I had, you know, the timeline of the vaccine. Those were standard questions. Baby formula she should have been prepared for. She flipped through her book for something like 10 seconds, got to a tab and said, I have nothing new for you. So one of two things is happening. Either she's not picking up the phone and calling the uh, HHS and calling CDC and saying, hey, what are you guys doing? Or they don't have answers for her, the second of which would not be her fault. So one of those two things is happening. Um, and either way, it's, it's not working. It would be very hard to take her out of that position. Very hard because she's gay, black, female. Um, and that's an identity which is valuable in Washington. Removing that identity from that position is not likely, is it? There's been a noticeable trend. I think at least two times John Kirby has been brought to the podium. John Kirby, of course. Oh, Kirby, the Defense Department. Came yes, he came oh. over. It was kind of a big news story when he did. He took a communications role, though not in the press office. But he's been at the podium twice. He's done a pretty good job. So there has to be an inevitable comparison to how the two are performing. But you could not push Karine Jean-Pierre out and bring in the white male John Kirby. I think it should be very simple. Who's giving answers to the American people? Because at the end of the day, no matter your race, no matter your gender, no matter your preference, the American people deserve answers because it's so much Fair bigger enough. than identity politics. It's inflation. It's baby formula. It's gas prices. People want answers. And whoever can provide those uh, should be at that podium.